All right, so welcome back to TCG Love. And I paid $210 for this Outlaws of Thunder Junction Collector Booster Box. Actually, I paid in euros, but they go for $210 in the US as well. So we will see if I can pull cards uh, from this box worth $210 and basically make up the money for the box. As you can see, I got a bunch of products left. I will be opening them in the coming days. I also got my sponsored products here which I will be using in my next giveaway together with this Fallout Collector Booster Box. And while I open this one, I will be telling you about the giveaway a little bit. So uh, the giveaway is sponsored by Games Island. They sent me free swag all the time and I'm happy to give that free swag. I forwarded it to you guys out, uh, for free as well. So everything that gets sponsored from Games Island goes to the next giveaway. So the next giveaway is going to be the biggest that I have. I have two collector booster boxes and a play booster box. Man, I don't have my knife anymore. So this one is actually hard. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to support me and Games Island and the sponsorship and bigger giveaways in the future, please check the link in the description. There's an affiliate link to Games Island. Would really appreciate you guys. Games Island is the site where I buy all my Magic the Gathering products from. Everything here on the desk is from there because they are the cheapest that I found and um yeah i'm really happy they sponsored me after i asked them to please please sponsor me give me free swag so yeah the giveaway is gonna be big and it's gonna happen in the in, in next week maybe in two weeks and the only thing you have to do to participate anybody who watches the video right now can win cards from uh, these packs here and the only thing you have to do is leave a comment under this video um when you leave a comment you will claim these coins that will accumulate today based on whatever we pull here you get more and more coins the more value we pull and if you leave a comment these coins go to your wallet and they stay there and the more coins you have the higher the chance of winning in the giveaway so yeah thank you very much games island for keep sending me free swag and i would really appreciate you guys checking out games island uh, from the affiliate link in the description and yeah the more people check it out the bigger giveaways maybe in the future so the first collector booster box i opened and i will be quickly going through what we can pull here maybe i'm gonna start from the back because uh, from the back you should be getting one two three four foil comments that's how the collector booster box is set up then we should get three uncommons foil one two three uncommons then we should be getting traditional foil full art western land and these lands are absolutely gorgeous and i got a forest here which is beautiful i was gushing about these full art lands in my first video on the play booster box from yesterday so check that video out for sure and then now we get to the rares i think right we can we will be getting five rares from each pack so there's a guaranteed five rares no more no less in each collector booster pack they will have different treatments so the first one uh, actually, no, this is not the rare yet. Traditional foil, uncommon, borderless, breaking news card. So if you guys don't know, we have these breaking news extra sheet here. These are all reprints with this showcase. Um, fling this time. Apparently, this is always uncommon. So yeah, traditional foil uncommon, it says. But this, this is not foil. What the hell? So we're not getting the foil that we are promised. Either way, let's see what we get further. Traditional foil, rare and mythic. So this is just the normal rare mythic and foil. And oh, now we got traditional foil uh, breaking news card. This is not a rare either. This is an uncommon. What's going on? Did I miss something? Oh, non-foil uncommon borders. Okay, okay, I'm, I skipped a step. So we got a guaranteed non-foil uncommon and then a traditional foil uncommon. All right, so now we should get to the rares. Traditional foil, rare mythic. Man, it's getting complicated, more complicated. And the foil, uh, the rare here is Wily Duke Atting Hero. And I will be scanning each rare and mythic and with my scanner. And hopefully, by the end, the scanner is going to show us a total of $210 or more. But for now, we only got 16 cents. All right, next one. We get a non-foil rare and mythic. And this can be in different showcases, wanted poster, open vault, borderless or extended art card. And we got an extended art, three steps ahead. I think this treatment is the lamest. Extended art, I should just do full art. But this one is two bucks 65. And as you can see, the scanner only picks up cards above a dollar. So that's also something we have to keep an eye on. 
And now the next one is traditional foil or non-foil rare mythic. And this should be a commander card. So this is always from the commander set. Cataclysmic prospecting. So an extended art commander card. This lot always will have a special treatment commander card. Seems this one is 69 cent. But for the extended art, it's not showing price. Oh, actually, I didn't select extended art for this one. So this might be a few cents more. Either way, we ignore it for now. The next one is non-foil rare or mythic rare borderless breaking news card. So we got a borderless breaking news card in rare but non-foil. All right. Abrupt decay. This is the breaking news card here. Is it worth something at least? 48 cents. Should I just put a foil? And then we got the fancy foil slot. And this one, this slot is the most valuable cool zombie token here with treasure in the back. Uh, foil token, double-sided token is always in the pack. And this slot is the most um, where you can get the most valuable cards from. Here you can have anything uh, from raised foil, textured foil. I think we have two different foilings here. All kinds of different treatments. We get we can get special guest card in foil, etc. And we got here a foil uh, breaking news card again. So yeah, you can also have just stuff like that for 16 cents. So that was... The first pack and a little bit of a disappointment, but let's keep going and we're gonna do faster now. I'm not gonna go from the back, I will just go from the front. We have a mercenary token. I actually played some mercenary synergies today's, in today's um, pre-release event. I was there too uh, today. Calamity Galloping Inferno is our fancy foil slot, extended art. I don't know if that's worth something. Extended art foil, $1.59, sure. Pest Infestation, with the Breaking News Showcase, 52 cents. Angelic Cell Sword from the Commander set, Extended Art. Hmm. Doesn't pick up a price, sure. Any joints up, Extended Art. Oh, we got a Vault card there. Extended Art is 150 for this one. And we got Greed's Gambit from the um, big score set. So this was uh, um, originally thought to be, they wanted to do an epilogue set like with March of the Machine, but they decided against it. And so they squished that epilogue set in this set. And that's what this symbol means. It's just what used to be the epilogue set, but it's just part of this set now. And Greed's Gambit, I think they're always mythic, right? I never saw this symbol not mythic. So they're always mythic. Interesting. $4.90 for the foil one. We got beautiful foiling on this hindering light. You can see like the foiling, pretty nice quality foiling on this one. Cool, but it's an uncommon, so I'll skip it. And beautiful full art swamp here. The swamp is the best one from them all, I think. Awesome, awesome swamp. I love these full art lands from this set. And comments and uncomments and foil, which I will skip. Just to not make the video any longer. So now we're gonna pick up the paste pillage, the bog in extended art foil. Is that worth something? Three bucks seventy-three for the foil one. Siphon Insight, breaking news card. Five cents. Cactus Preserve from the commander set. Extended art is three bucks. Uh, double down a mythic with extended art. Nice artwork on this one. I don't remember seeing this card ever. $6.39 for Double Down. Nice. Outcaster Trailblazer, which is a cool card. I saw it in my pre-release games as well a few times. Nothing worth though. Fierce Retribution and Beautiful Plains Foil. Man, I'm so happy that I'm gonna end up with a bunch of these full art lands in the end. Uh, I'll need a playset. How many lands do you need for a monocolored commander deck? <laughs> 40 lands at least, 40 basics, so that's what I need from each one, 40. Void Slime in foil, sure. Oh, a mythic breaking news card, so that must be worth something. All right, Mind Break Trap, mythic. Not really sure about all the values. 13 bucks for Mind Break. A Mind Break Trap, nice. We Ride at Dawn from the Commander set, extended art. No, it doesn't show. I'll keep it like this, just so we have some value. As you can see, the coins are adding up. We have now four coins here. And this goes here. Free Strider Lookout. 
standard art, 96 cents. Lothing Jasper Flint in foil, 21 cents. And some uncommons, Nana Swamp. Some foils. The foiling is really nice on these ones. These are printed in Belgium, and I think the Belgium printed ones really have really nice foiling. And they don't curl. I always hear people complaining about curling, but I don't really experience that with these cards from Belgium. Oh, Collector's Cage. This is from the Big Score, and this is also a special showcase treatment. This is called, what is it called? I can say a second. The Vault Frame treatment and raised foil. Is that raised foil? Not sure. 31 is the collector number here. Not sure if this is considered raised foil. Not sure what raised foil even means. I guess I would know what textured foil is because it would have a texture, I guess, but yeah. Raised foil collector's cage or is it just vault frame? Either way. Let's see if this is worth something. 31? Yep. 18 bucks for this one. Not a chase card, it seems. Not one that goes for 200 bucks or something, but I'm not going to complain about 18 bucks. All right, the tension sphere in the, in the breaking news showcase, smoldering stage, what? Stage coach. Yeah, extended art commander uh, cards seems like this kind of doesn't pick up. Lotus ring in the uh, vault frame. This is not foil, but Lotus ring should be a pretty valuable card, right? There we go, $35, now we are talking. Now we are talking. All right, we're almost halfway through with the value and almost halfway through the booster packs. Any Flash, the Veteran in foil. And dollar forty-nine, sure. And beautiful foiling on this pack for more. I like the foiling on these ones, they look great. All right, Forest, nice. The Forest is the best one. Actually, I, I said that the Swamp is the best one, right? They are all very nice. All right, another Mercenary token in foil. Nice. I think this could be also worth a little bit. These Mercenaries are really strong. Pitiless, Carnage, Extended Art foil. Almost looks like a special guest artwork, but it's not special guest. Let's see if it's worth something. $1. sixty, sure. Uh, Decimate. Four cents. Dune Chanter, extended art. Yeah, doesn't pick up extended art. Shouldn't even bother. Two bucks. Dust Animus, extended art. Two bucks sixty-five. And Calamity Galloping Inferno again. Just normal foil this time. Well, it was before normal foil as well, but extended art. And the Island. This is the first time we picked the Island, I guess, today. Beautiful island, awesome card. Awesome, awesome full art lands, I love these. All right, so we are halfway through the packs and we are already at 100 bucks, so it looks pretty good. If we pull something nice here as well. Then we have Gucci, Cruel Ultimatum and the Breaking News foil. Worth nothing, unfortunately. Fell the Mighty. If you pay like 20 bucks for a collector booster, and you pull a 15 cent card from the most valuable slot. That feels really bad, so sometimes I'm really wondering why they don't guarantee something nice there. Uh, Laya undefeated. 80 cents. And another Laya. It's not gonna pick up because I just scanned the Laya. I guess worth nothing as well. And beautiful foiling on this one as well. Look at this. This is cool. Nice. Foilings on these ones. All right, so that pack was really disappointing. Another mercenary here, and we got memory vessel in the vault frame, also foil. Collector number forty-three. Let's see if this is worth something. It is ten bucks sixty-five, and it's always foil. I don't understand. You know, a path to exile. Sure, I reprinted every set, so probably worth nothing. Thirty-two cents. Good card though. Kiri, Talented Sprout, uh, Mythic Commander card. Is this one of the sh commander or backup commanders? Kiri, Talented Sprout, Mythic Extended Art Commander card. In foil, 69 cents. Archmage's Newt. Played against this card today in pre-release. 
wasn't really strong, though, though. Tiny bones, uh, tiny bones joins up. <laughs> I also watched my previous video and I said tiny bones there. I actually didn't notice while I said it, but after watching it, I <laughs> noticed tiny bones. All right, so the attack was that good either. Four packs left. I hope we get lucky again here. Otherwise, we are behind. Oh, Spire Bluff Canal. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. All right, just normal dual land here. But this is actually a panorama uh, artwork. If you have all five dual lands, you can put them together to get like a panorama picture. So this one is 10 bucks. Awesome. I'll keep it here. Maybe I get another piece. Reanimate. Breaking news. Three bucks. 73. Thieving uh, Vermint. Awesome artwork on this one. Commander card. Oh, another vault card there. 29 cents. Simulacrum Synthesizer. Extended art. Vault card there. Or something. Oh, there we go. How much for extended art? $23 for the extended art. Awesome. That's great. Torpor Orb. Another big score card. Just normal showcase, but foil. Three bucks twenty. Okay, and then some uncommons here. If there's any uncommons worth something, let me know in the comments. I'll be skipping them for now. I will be putting these cards up on Card Market right after the video, and document everything in my Google Sheet. Bruce Tall Roving Ranger. So you can go to my link in the description to my Google Sheet, and when the video is uploaded, it should be all there. Cruel Ultimatum again, and in my Google Sheet I just write how much I put them up for on card market, how much they actually sold for once they sell, etc. So you guys always know uh, how much money was actually in there. Roxanne, Starfall, Seventh, if you're interested. All the data is right below in the description. And Blooming March, Blooming March is worth the tap on the All right, just another of these. Two lands, foil, three bucks fifty. Nice. And we've got the beautiful planes. Now we have all five, right? We saw all five now. We got Coyote from uh, Roadrunner. Coyote and Roadrunner. I'll keep the Coyote as well here because the Roadrunner is, in a sense, also a panorama. Panorama artwork. All right, we got the Mercenary here. And Geralt the Flash Ride. And we got the first wanted poster. So if you guys read the story, Oko. Uh, gathered a bunch of villains together from all kinds of planes and you know they do a heist or whatever and every member of that crew has one of these wanted poster treatments which looks pretty cool actually in, li in real life i like the foiling on the parts here we got Garolf here the flash right mythic wanted poster foil i wonder if this is worth something all right, it doesn't show anything, so I have to Google it. Well, Google. I'll look it up in Card Market in a second and add the to, to the total crime and punishment. Also, a mythic double card here from the breaking news reprints. Twenty-seven cents for this one. Smirking Spelljacker from the Commander decks. Two bucks thirty-two. Commander cards seem to be quite valuable, actually. Wonder how my pre uh, pre how are they called pre cons how my commander deck opening will be. I'll be doing it tomorrow. So if you guys are interested, how much value is in every single commander deck? They usually uh, commander decks are usually really good for value. Uh, check my tomorrow's video. You can probably claim a lot of coins from that video as well. Eighty cents for that one and nothing else. All right, so we are at $166, one pack left. I will be leaving Geralt for the, uh, for the end. Maybe he's gonna save us if this pack is weak. I got a mercenary and we got Archmage's Charm, breaking news foil from Mythic, so my hopes are not high. A dollar, sure. Uh, Electro Dominance, breaking news foil, 11 cents. Angel of Indemnity from the... Oh, we got another wanted poster card. Any Flash. Not Foil, Any Flash, the veteran. Also Mythic though. 
I think we pulled an any flash already and she wasn't worth that much. Uh, so don't know if the wanted poster is gonna be that much more valuable. It's kind of gonna pick it up. A uh, dollar thirty six for this one. Oof. Sure. Insatiable Avarice is the last rare here. Six dollar thirty nine. All right. So we went through all the packs, and we are at one hundred seventy five dollars. So how much do we need? We need thirty five dollars. Is Geralt the flash right? In wanted poster foil uh, worth 35 bucks let me quickly check on card market how much he goes for Carol the flesh right flesh right how do you pronounce it wanted poster showcase uh, he is worth 10 bucks 10 bucks for this one all right so 10 bucks means 185 dollars so you guys will be getting 18 coins from today's video and yeah not that good uh, but i guess on par with um, the usual collector booster box values maybe got unlucky today we didn't get any special treatments like raised foil or we don't we cannot get any serialized cards from the set there are no serialized cards so Cannot hope on these ones from the other packs, but yeah, $25 loss on uh, this collector booster box. So in a sense, I paid $25 for a bunch of foil bulk. <laughs> That's how it goes, kind of. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to stretch it out. I tried to leave it short. That's why I'm also not going to show you my pre-release deck from today. I will be making a YouTube short of this, I think. Let's try that. Let's make a YouTube short video. You can check that short out. You can also claim coins from that short, so definitely check it out. And yeah, how we're putting these cards up on card market right now. Check the link in the description to see how much I put them up for. And yeah, thanks for watching. Check out Games Island in the description, my sponsor for uh, the giveaways. Giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. Claim the coins by leaving a comment. Subscribe to the channel to participate in the giveaway. It's, uh, very important. Subscribe to the channel and turn on public subscriptions. It's a setting on YouTube. Google it. And yeah, then you participate in a giveaway and you get a chance to win some of the cards. If you want to know how the giveaway works, check out my last giveaway video and then you will understand immediately. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.